Okay. So what is the question? The question is why when there is a recognition of silence, of peace, the mind, my mind at least, and I am pretty sure it's a other, it's not the, an exclusive, the mind starts to form all these irrational fears and there is a avoidance from the silence. There is, there is a, I don't know how to explain it. The minute there is a recognition of silence, it's like a catch-22, okay? Because you're looking for the silence, for the peace and this, but the minute there is a recognition of this, uh, you're already out of it. So how, what can you do? It's like, for me, I try to solve it by myself. It's like a dead end. I reached a dead end as far as I'm concerned. Because the minute there is a recognition of peace, of happiness, of fear, the fear comes in automatically. This is just the habit of the mind to react. And because for the mind, silence is a, a threat. Because it cannot appear to be real in the presence of silence. The presence of the thought, which is not real presence, diminished, disappear, dissipates. So the mind reacts to it. This is one thing. And then it enables you to see the habitual mind, which is uh, the false notion that I'm a separate entity, um, is made from reactivity. So when the mind reacts, you just examine it, discriminate it. And then uh, when who you truly are, which is absolutely silence or absolutely uh, silent and aware, reveals itself, just fix the attention on that. The more the attention would rest within the silence, the silence would take more space and the thoughts would start to rest or dissolve into it. So that might happen as a gradual process for the mind to dissolve, to dissolve within the silence. Okay, the is mind, there really the, such a thing? The mind needs an object. The mind object. dissolves completely because what, what my experience is every time the, it comes up with something new to be afraid of or something new to worry about, it's like a... Um, Endless, endless, that's what I see. Every time you, you finish one, it's invent another one, something new. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So is there really a point where this is a ending or is it a constant, uh, I don't know, struggle, uh, for lack of a better word? So first of all, it diminishes and uh, it loses the power and um, the moment the thought disappears, it's finished. When the latency appears again, it begins. Now vigilance is required to question it, direct it back to where it arises from, see if it is real, and discern it if it's needed. And then when who you truly are shine through, fix the attention on who you are. So, does it end? Of course it does. The moment a thought appears and completes itself and disappears, it ended. Thought is the nature of the mind. When there is no thought, there is no mind. So you talking like mind is more than just thought after thought after thought. And if you look closely, it's just one frame after another. So it's only one thought at a time. The second is that you, it seems like you're attached to a future outcome. Your ego or the false notion of separation wants to gain the silence. This is a mistake. You are the silence and direct the mind back to dissolve within the silence. The more it dissolves within, 
then all the stupidities of the mind which are fears, excuses, desires start to weaken and weaken and weaken now if they spring forth now you have to examine the thought to see if the fear is real and who is the one who is afraid and if you know yourself to be silenced are you the one who is afraid or the mind just imagines something and scares itself discern that question the fear study it, examine it closely what is fear actually <coughs> even who when a thought appears or there is reactivity one has to question okay does it affect who I am no but it affects the body the body is affected definitely the body is affected that's the problem it's happened so fast um, the body is affected and the body is affected from the mind, that's obvious. And the me. body really cares? Does it have a preference? I don't know about this. I know that the body reacts to the mind for sure. I have no doubt about it. The body reacts to whatever the mind thinks, the body reacts automatic. If it's good thought or bad thought or a, a future something, the body reacts. And does the body really knows that? I don't, I don't know that. This is I don't have a I don't have an answer for that. You want to check? Yeah, I am willing to check everything. Okay, so check if the body has any okay. preference of what's going on for it. Has any reference for? If it really cares what's going on in the body. Ask the body. Check right now so how do we explain it that the body uh, uh, my my body is this I see the, a reaction I feel it in the muscle in the muscle tension there is a reaction so I hear you feel means you perceive the body reaction I feel a reaction in the body. Who is I feel the, 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 yeah, the body is reacting to the mind. That, that's and who is perceiving the body's reaction? We will continue in a moment. 